Welcome to OWL, home of the Urban Interactions Research Program. We'd like to introduce UP Hotspots, an example of new ubiquitous computing infrastructure built in downtown area of OWL. There are 12 hotspots all in all, six situated indoors and six outdoors. The UP Hotspot is not just an ordinary display, but an intelligent unit encompassing several different hardware and software components such as an RFID reader, a high-end control PC, a Wi-Fi access point, a wireless sensor network access point, and a Bluetooth access point. The hotspot can act in two different modes, passive and interactive. In the passive mode, the hotspot, uh, hotspot acts as a one-way information broadcast channel utilizing the powerful visual capacity of a 57-inch high-definition screen. The transition from passive to interactive mode can happen either through face detection algorithm and built-in cameras or by simply touching the display. In the interactive mode, the screen space is divided between the UP channel, the same broadcast mode that was running full screen just moments ago, the UP portal, a touchscreen portal offering several different services, and the mobile screen for using multimodal distributed applications. In the touchscreen portal, the user is offered map based services. News and event information. Multimedia content such as images and video both of which can also be uploaded by users from their own personal mobile phones. The portal also offers fun and entertainment, such as games and other leisure activities. In the next scene, we'll see how the UB hotspot can be used together with a mobile phone. Registered users receive a UB key with which they are able to log into the display. After logging in, the display tells the user what mobile services are available at this particular display. Applications are launched from the mobile phone, and the control point can either be at the phone or the display. Applications can also have more than one simultaneous user, as is the case with UB Poker shown here. Users are also able to download information from the display to their mobile phones over an all-cost Bluetooth connection. After logging in and launching the application, the user then selects the information he wants and seconds later has it in his phone.
current services include news from different sources, weather, TV programs, and bus schedules. Some other applications include the UB postcard, with which the user can take a picture of himself and send it to a friend through email. The Street Gallery is a premium opportunity for up-and-coming new media artists to showcase their arts in public locations. Under Fun and Games, users are also able to play the traditional game of Hangman. The survey is a powerful way for researchers to gather data directly from people using the display. Another way to give feedback is thumb voting. The place messaging application allows users to post notes containing both text and images to each display individually, creating possibilities for place-based messaging. Thank you for watching and goodbye.